Softball World mourning the loss of a Connecticut legend, Joan Joyce. The multi-sport athlete is best known for striking out two of the best players in Major League Baseball. In honor of Women's History Month, we're taking a look into her life and her legacy. Fox's Lindsey Kane has the story. The sports world is mourning the loss of Joan Joyce, a Connecticut native who mastered just about every sport she played. Joyce passed away on Saturday at the age of 81. Born in Waterbury, the softball and golf icon is being remembered across the country for her 20 Hall of Fame inductions and for striking out Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Ted Williams and Hank Aaron in front of thousands of people in an exhibition in Waterbury back in 1961. It's like the loss of a member of the family, and especially someone of, um, of, of Joan's achievement. She, it's like she you expected her to go on forever. Joyce was the head coach of the women's softball team at Florida Atlantic University for 28 seasons and was the former head coach of the university's women's golf team. She even just recently collected her 1,000th win on the diamond as a coach. Fox 61 spoke to Donna Lopiano, a friend and former teammate. She says Joyce also dabbled in basketball, volleyball, and bowling and was named to the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame in 1989. Some of the memories she had always cherished. One of the most competitive people I've ever known, but you know, quite the gentle soul. She could tell you uh, the golf shots she hit on the eighth hole at a golf course in the middle of nowhere. Um, and describe it pers uh, per perfectly. As an athlete, Joyce was recognized as an All-American for her softball career more than a dozen times and spent 19 years as a member of the LPGA Tour. Lopiano says Joyce impacted so many athletes who will all remember their coach as one of the greatest of all time. She was admired by many. She helped many. She um, has decades of college coaching under her belt. So she's influenced generations of young women who had the chance to play for her, um, besides being an athlete in her own right. In Waterbury, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.